Hi, welcome to another video. So, Mitral has launched a new version of their Codestral model called Codestral 2501. This is a new model that is similar to the previous Codestral, but it features a more efficient architecture and an improved tokenizer compared to the original. It is also capable of generating and completing code about two times faster as well. The benchmarks of the new code straw, with the leading sub-100B parameter models, show that it is the best, but obviously, benchmarks are not always true. Anyway, it's best at JavaScript, Python, and TypeScript as well. It performs significantly well with fill in the middle, or in completion tasks as well, which is quite good. In fill in the middle, it even beats DeepSeek v3 which is good to see. LMSYS Copilot Arena also makes it now top the leaderboards as well, which is good to see. So, the model is pretty great at first look and benchmarks. The model is not open source, but the model is available via the Codestral API, and this API is actually fully free and doesn't have any rate limits either. I had covered it a while back as well, but now that API points to this new model, which is faster and much more efficient. Plus, the no rate limits on the API are quite amazing, to say the least. I use it a lot. They also say that the API is best usable with continued dev for auto-completion, which is pretty great. I tested it on my coding benchmark questions, and it performed really great. I mean, it passed all of them, which is great. And if you actually look at the stuff that it was able to make, then that's great as well. I don't know how big or small the model is, but it should be similar to the last Codestral model, which had open weights as well. Anyway, I would have liked it if it was open source, but it isn't, which is not as good. But the model is still great, considering that you can use the model via API, and that too for free. So, let me tell you how you can configure Continue, Klein, and Bolt DIY with this and get some pretty great results for free with this new Codestral model. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, On Demand. On Demand is an all-in-one ultimate AI operating system that can help you create AI agents and AI automation workflows in literal seconds. You can create a bunch of actionable agents like social media posting agents for LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can also build agents for automated trading and anything else you'd want. And it's not just that, because On Demand also has an agent flow builder that allows you to assemble agents, model endpoints, fulfillment prompts, and chat prompts into one cohesive workflow. You can schedule these workflows to execute at custom intervals, like every minute, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or anything like that. You can also make it deliver outputs via email, Slack, or actionable agents. They even have an AI engineer that allows you to build real-world apps with it in seconds. Currently, they are giving out free $150 credits that you can use to try it fully free and get some pretty cool stuff made with it. So, make sure that you check them out and start building some great stuff now. Now, let's come back to the video. First of all, just head over to Mistral's console platform, and here, go to the Codestral thing and get the API key from here. So, once you have it, we can now get it configured accordingly. Let's first get Continue installed. You can just go to the Extensions Marketplace and get Continue installed. Once you have done that, just open it up and add the model by clicking the option here and choose Mistral as a provider here. Then also select the model name as Codestral. You can then enter the API key. Once done, it will be added and you can just select the model here and you can now use it as well. Continue also now has MCP tools, so it can even read files, create files, and everything as well, similar to Klein. So that's great. But you can also use this model as an autocomplete provider as well. To do that, just hit the settings option here, and it will open up this file. Here, 
in the tab Autocomplete Stuff, just enter the provider as Mistral and the model name as Codestral like this, along with the API key. Once you have set that up, you can now just save it, and then the autocomplete will also start working as usual. The autocomplete of this model is pretty insane, so you can use it as much as you want, and there's no limit on the API either. Apart from this, we can also get this new model set up with Klein and Ader. So, to configure it with Klein, just get Klein upgraded to the latest version and then open it up. In the settings, choose the OpenAI compatible option and then enter the Codestral endpoint like this. Once you have put that in, just enter the model name and API key like this. Once you have done that, you can start using it. Let's ask it to make me a simple, playable synth keyboard. This is also an Expo app, so that's great to check. Let's wait. And it's now done. So, it worked pretty well. If we try to run this, then this also works really well, which is pretty insane. This is great with Klein as well, because the model works pretty well with Klein and is free, which is great. Now, if you want to use it with Ader, then just upgrade Ader with this command and then export your Codestral API key like this and then just start Ader with this command. And now you can just use Ader easily with this command. And it works quite well for most of the tasks. I'm asking it to build me a playable synth keyboard as well. If we wait a bit, then it's now done, and it also worked pretty well. We can now run it, and once we do that, it works well, which is expected. So, Ader also works amazingly with it. Apart from this, you can also use Bolt with it. So, to do that, you can either get Bolt installed with Docker or locally. For locally, just clone the repo on your computer, then run pnpm install, and then run it with pnpm run dev. Once done, you can just open it up. Now, we can't use it directly here. So, you'll need to first install lightlm with this command, and then export your Codestral API key like this, and then run a light LLM server with this command. Once done, just go to Bolt, and in the settings enter the endpoint like this, and then go back and choose OpenAI-like option, and then select Codestral, and then enter the API key as well. Once you have put that in, you can now start using it. Let's ask it to build me a playable synth keyboard as well. Codestral works really well with Bolt as well which makes it pretty great in this case. And if we wait a bit, then it's now done. You can see that we have the preview here, and if we use it, then this works pretty well. You can also look at the code, sync it, and everything like that, which is amazing to see. So, that's majorly how you can use the new Codestral model with all kinds of coding tools. I believe the previous Codestral model was already great, but now the model is even greater, and it works pretty well. So, that's super great. And this new model is great at coding, as well as co-pilot tasks. That is, fill in the middle and stuff like that. I would have really liked it if it was open source, but it isn't, which is a bummer. But still, it's great to use for free via the API and get some good results with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.